What's up, fragrance community? Got a little uh, first impressions for you guys today. These are the first impressions from the day that I won with uh, Mike Makers and Eye Troubles. Uh, so here we go. I'm going to go ahead and start it off with uh, Tom's Gray Vetiver. Let's spray this one on the top of my right hand. Don't rub it in. Ask out. I like that one. Some people say it's a uh, like you know very mature. I could see that, but at the same time, it's not like old man. So I think anybody could wear it, just depending on like you know your style. Wow, that's really nice. It's clean. I like that one a lot. Next we got is another Tom Ford. Tom Ford for men. Oh, and by the way, the, uh, the Tom Ford uh, Gray Vetiver is an EDP. I'm going to spray this one on my top of my left hand. Really good spritzers for samples. Now this one's a little bit more mature. It's nice. It's really it smells quality for sure. Doesn't smell like synthetic or pungent or it just you know, it's, it's this one smells like probably like thirty five thirty five forty and up. It's really nice though. Next we got this Bulgari Man or Bulgari, or you say it. I'm gonna spray this one right here in the middle of my right arm. I don't know what to make of this one. Definitely compared to the Tom Ford. This I mean, it's all right. It's more like kind of woodsy. Maybe a little florals in there. It's not bad, but not great. It's not as good as the Tom Ford. Next we got is pure malt. But this one uh spilt inside the package. And man, this the package still smells like this stuff. So I know this stuff lasts right here. And I have been smelling it like for like three days straight when it when it's been in here, so this stuff is the bomb though. Way too hot to wear in the summer. What I get out of it is like, I don't know if you guys ever had uh, chocolate malt ice cream, but it smells like that with like a boozy vibe though, like a, like a whiskey or like something like that going on. It's masculine for sure. This would definitely be a great uh, winter, winter scent right here. That's pure malt. Next we got is Mark Echo Blue, but this is, looks like it's a one wearing only, so I want to get a full wearing out of this one. So I'm not going to do this one right now, but I'll do this one later. That was Mark Echo Blue. So in, in place of that one, I'm just going to do a little decant that I got from Sephora of Prada Amber. Spray this one in. My left arm in the middle.
This one's nice. It's clean. A lot of people say it's like soapy. I mean, it is soapy, but I think more of like a like a linen, like fabric softener type smell. It's not super masculine. It's not, but it's not like feminine either. It's it's kind of like. I want to say unisex because I want to see a girl wearing it, but I guess it's more on the feminine, masculine side, I guess you'd say. But yeah, that's nice. Last one I have. This one is uh, Spawn number 9, Bleecker Street. Go ahead and put this on the inside of my arm right here. Super green. Nice though. Very, very pleasant smell. Very expensive on the same same hand. It does smell expensive, but it doesn't smell like a classy though it smells like quality, like casual. Kind of reminds me of uh, Hugo by Hugo Boss. I mean, it doesn't smell exactly like it, but you know the way it's green and semi-sweet. Yeah, but that's really nice. I like that. I guess Niche makes good stuff. All right, that was my first impressions. Um, I guess I'm going to have to delve more into the dive or however you want to say that into some more niche, but it's got to be like amazing for me to spend like 200, 300 bucks on a bottle. So, well, thank you guys very much. And once again, thank you, Mike Mickers. Thanks, I Troubles, for the, um, for the samples. And see you guys later. Peace.